It's known as Warrior's Walk, a tree-lined path established in 2003 to mark the passing of Marne soldiers lost in Iraq and Afghanistan. And when this memorial started and General Webster, a uh, couple commanding generals before me, started this, nobody ever envisioned this getting to 468 trees. Um, we started off with eastern redbud trees. We just recently completed replacing uh, every one of these trees with a white flowering crepe myrtle. Um, and the problem was the eastern redbuds were about 100 miles too far south and about 100 miles too far east, and they were dying. The thing that drove me to replace these trees is I did not want a family to drive in and find a dead tree for their soldier. Warrior's Walk stretches along both sides of the division parade field, a half mile in all. At the base of each tree is a name, their unit, a flag. Several have mementos left by families, fellow soldiers, senior army leaders. Sergeant First Class Paul Smith, the first Medal of Honor recipient from Operation Iraqi Freedom, is among those honored here. The symbology is really the sacrifice he made for his soldiers. Every day I come in for PT or I'm going home from work or I'll go home to get some lunch or whatever it is, you'll see soldiers over here walking and they'll go visit trees from soldiers from that unit and they'll talk about what that soldier did and they'll talk about the sacrifice, not only from the soldier standpoint, but from the family standpoint. The headquarters of 3rd Infantry Division left for Afghanistan in support of the end of Operation Enduring Freedom and the transition to resolute support. They will return home in a year. Gail McCabe, Fort Stewart, Georgia.